Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Lesta, Massachusetts. We're here for the fourth and final round of the 2022 MVP Open at Maple Hill. Now on three, Holland Hanley. Wow. That was so oh, sweet. finding oh, that nice. gap and looks to have parked or Pierce, T of three. Hole three is where those wooded holes begin. And they Guitar with the honors, just barely missing the tree. This is gonna be tracking to the basket. It checks up and Kristen gets the roll. A near park job for Tatar on hole number five. This is a dangerous shot. Out of bounds over the rock wall on the right. But Natalie keeps it nice and low. Now from the drop zone. Holland Hanley connects from 60 feet. <laughs> Apparently signing the board is now part of hitting it from the drop zone. Bunch of high fives. Not sure there's a better feeling in disc golf. <laughs> Hole eight Hall of Fame. <laughs> I love it. Natalie Ryan going for the green on eight. Miss that tree or kiss off it right to the basket. Ryan, drop in birdie coming on eight. Wow, all the way down for Kristen. Five over for the tournament. She's running out of holes if she wants any chance. I feel like she's gonna need to come close to birdieing out. Krista Tatar is lacing it down the fairway here up 13. Kristen can tie for the lead with a made putt here. Yeah! She's got it. Tatar in for birdie on 13. And on 15, Deanne Carey has a long birdie look from the middle of circle two. And a long birdie connection that is. And now underneath it, what an approach shot by Kristen. All pressures off her. She'll be taking the par on 16. Natalie trying to find position. And if it stays clean, it's tracking to the basket. And Natalie answers just deep of the pin. Inside 15 feet to also try and save par. Inside of the circle, but she is perfectly placed behind that tree on the right-hand side. Thank you for the clarification. Now, Natalie Ryan needs to answer. Can she put more pressure on by being even closer? And to me, that looks like it will be. Kristen Tatar makes the putt on 17 for the birdie. All pressure back on Natalie Ryan for the tie heading into the final hole. We're going to take a quick look back at what Paige Pierce had to do to keep some pressure on the lead card. And that beautiful second shot puts her right next to the basket. Paige Pierce birdies hole 18 to finish out. That gets her to two over par. They are ahead of Paige by a single stroke. So crucial to see who lands closer to the basket and gets the longer drive here off the tee of 18. Natalie Ryan hits early, kicks into the fairway.
and Natalie Ryan just pitching up for position. Regular sudden death. It will not be an aggregate of holes 18 and 1. It is just a regular playoff in sudden death fashion, and that likely is what we're going to see, and it will be between Kristen Tatar and Natalie Ryan. Natalie Ryan needs to secure the par to have a chance at playoff. And that is right next to the basket. But Kristen not giving it a putting motion. This is going to be an approach for Kristen. Oh, and just past the basket. She does give it a chance. Center chain for the world champ. And a par by Natalie Ryan. They are all tied up. It is a sudden death playoff. Mm -hmm. Starts here on 18. If it's not decided in 18, we'll go to one. And then back to 18 on repeat. 18, one, 18, one. One. Got it. Ready? Yep. Well, the world. Kristen's going right. first. Yep. All right. And you rotate. Good luck. Good luck. Kristen Tatar on the tee playing off against Natalie Ryan. Puts so much more power on that tee shot. And Tatar finds the green. Break, she somehow found the green. Yeah, Terry, we just got a little thick off of that V tree right there. Uh, Natalie Ryan needs to answer and put this on the green. Yes. That's wide and banks off the wall. Natalie Ryan parked next to the basket. World champion Kristen Tatar needs to make this putt to extend a playoff at the MVP Open at Maple Hill. Tatar for birdie. Inches short, Kristen Tatar will not extend the playoff. It will be a short tap in as she embraces her friend Katie. Natalie Ryan, your champion at the MVP Open. Our 2022 FPO MVP Open champion, Natalie Ryan! How do you feel? I feel incredible. Oh, winning, winning this event is, oh, it's mean a lot to me. I have, I have a, lot of, a lot of friends, a lot of supporters around here, so it means a ton to me to, uh, to win this one. Just thank you to all my fans, all my supporters. Shout out to Neptune Discs, and honestly, just it's, it's a pleasure. Congratulations, Natalie. Also seeing that the standings and how the Pro Tour has shaken out, some big jumps throughout this weekend, some big jumps throughout the last couple of weekends that's been taking place. Uh, when you're seeing the likes of Owen Scoggin step up into today's round. We said she was all but out of a chance to the semifinals this morning, but then she came firing back today with her best performance of the weekend. She catapults past both Missy Gannon and Valerie, and now she is secured into a buy into the semifinals. To have the best conditions in this final round, I mean, what a battle starting with the rain in the first round, then the wind uh, resulting in our players shooting over par scores, some of the worst scores that we've ever seen. That was a challenge. Round three, things are a little bit easier with the wind, but then the final round, I mean, to see all those hot scores, look at the hot rounds. I mean, several players at five under par, Natalie Ryan at four under, tied with Holland Hanley. So many players making moves. And then to know that the next event to final the season, 
the tour championships. There's going to be a whole lot of action similar to what we saw today. And there's a huge paycheck at the end.